I'm going to be trying to install macOS Monterey onto this late 2011 iMac. Let's get into it. I'm just going to boot up the Mac. You can see this might take a while. Let's see, now we can cook the Macintosh HD. I will be replacing the graphics card inside here to a metal supported one so I could get more updates in the future. So we'll just wait here. Okay, so now we should be into the desktop very soon. There we are, we're in the desktop. Well, not in the desktop, the login screen. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, just ignore that for a second. There we are. Now we're on the desktop. Open up Safari. Okay. Then I'm gonna put this put this on the table. Um yeah, here's good, I think. Okay, we're gonna have to update the bootloader so we can get the latest. So see, zero point two point four is the latest, so we should update it before we do anything, and update this one as well. So we should go into the Finder, minimize this tab before we um, install Monterey. We, we should do the patch updates. Okay, so let's just drag this into the application. And we're gonna replace it here. Okay. Then, you just scroll and find the patcher right then and there. Let's open it up. Click open. Okay. So now we're gonna have to op build open core. So let's build the open core. Okay. And then we're gonna have to install it onto the hard drive. Okay, so we have to choose disk zero and Number one, so then okay, we can type our password in. Right. Now it's saying, wait, Okay, now let's continue with it. I was just reading the, the would you like to continue in Sullivan Core, so. Yep. Okay. Now we can quit the open core and restart. Restart. Sorry about that, the video cut off. Okay. So I, we, let's restart the Mac. And hold down the option key.
Okay, now I can see if I boot. Now hit control and then return. And then I don't know why it's not showing Windows, but it's um okay, that's weird. Um Okay, that's hold option. Okay, EFI, and this time Macintosh HD. I don't know why it's showing Windows, um, but I'll probably get that fixed. Cause it doesn't show Windows; it just shows Macintosh HD. Okay, so now we need to get to the desktop. Okay, I'll be back when we're getting ready to install Monterey. Now let's install the uh, Monterey. So we're gonna go to beta profiles. So to get the profile, okay. It's not working with this profile, so let's go to the Apple Beta Software Program. And I'm gonna sign in, I'll be back when I'm done signing in. Okay, I'm done signing in, so now let's enroll into our device um i don't want the public grade i want the the uh, the developer so uh because it's easier that way um let's try going to beta profiles again okay now it's redirecting us okay do you want Mac OS 12 right here? Install the profile. So just click allow. You can see the downloads. We've got the Mac OS developer beta. Okay. Okay, now. Let's partition the drive because I really just don't want to screw anything up here. So I'm going to partition the drive to have a partition. Let's give it, yeah, let's give it about 128 gigabytes. So we can call it. Montreal.hd Okay, name this partition. Continue. Okay. I'll be done when it's done partitioning. Now that we got the partition done. See, it's partitioned. It's been partitioned. The drive has been partitioned. You can continue. Okay, continue. Agree. Install. Okay, now let's 
running the package script. Okay. Feedback assistance there. And you can close it. You can just keep that. Now it's gonna. There it is, Monterey Beta. <clears throat> so we're gonna upgrade now. So this might take a while. I'll be back when everything's downloaded. Okay, now we're in the Monterey Beta installer. I'm gonna agree. Uh, show all disks. I'm gonna install on Monterey HD that I, that I partitioned instead of the actual Macintosh HD. Cool. Okay, I hope my camera's not focusing. Okay, now it's focused. Okay. So Monterey HD. Type in the password. I zoom out, it's not focusing, I don't know why. But now it says 59 minutes remain. I'll be back when we're, when we're almost done. Now the Mac is restarting, you can see. Yep, now it's restarting. And it's gonna go into the installation. So I will, we'll just wait here. Starting. Okay, now it's gonna <clears throat> go into the setup. So I'll be back when everything is done. So you can see now it's going into the setup. It just says Macintosh HD. I don't know why, but it's it's really going into the setup. So I'll be back when it's done. We're almost done. How to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac? Press the Escape key. Okay, so uh, I just booted up into Mac with Monterey. Now the thing is, we have to go let's pick our country. It is being very slow, as you can see. Because it has no graphic acceleration, no Wi-Fi. Right now, it's very slow. So let's pick United States. Okay, passed it. Right there, United States. And let's, con and let's continue the setup. <clears throat> okay, continue. Not now. Data and privacy, let's continue with it. I'm gonna click not now because I don't want to transfer any data. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my information in and I'll be back when we're about finished with the setup. And now we're at this part of the setup. As you can see, this is something new and it's not a big stir. Make this your new Mac. Okay, cool. Let's continue with the setup. Just waiting for it to load. And now we're in the desktop. You can see. Let's see the specs of this machine. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. I'm just adjusting some stuff. So you can see we have no Wi Fi. <laughs> and can't turn it on, so it says. Oh, there it is. No, it's recognizing. the Mac, but we don't have Wi-Fi, I can't turn it on, let's 
can see the spray. It thinks we have a 30.5 inch display, which we clearly do not have a 34.5 inch display. We have a gigs of DDR3 RAM, which is correct. And wow, it's a video. And AMD Radeon HD 6750M graphics, which will be upgraded to something else. And the Picasso animation for R. Yeah, it's just a launch pad on animation. It's very slow. So, this is a Monterey beta. So, it's very. We have no Wi Fi, nothing. It's just this. Everything's lagging now. Okay, let's go into Safari. Oh no, what? What? Photo booth just randomly opened. Did you see that? It just randomly opened. Oh, I can't force quit it. Did okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna cover this camera right here. Okay, I'm covering the camera so you don't because I don't want to be shown. Let me just turn the let me just quit photo booth really quickly. Sorry about this. Okay, sorry about that. Now let's get the open core bootloader. So open core legacy patcher. So I can patch Monterey so we can get our Wi-Fi back because I want to use Wi-Fi and something that's not working is mini the display port isn't working so let's patch the system and if this fails well then that would be bad okay but it is monterey right here you can see oh did i just close no why is it why is it downloading taking so long Okay, there it is. Okay. Just close the thing. Okay, so this is settings. It's just. Yeah, we get all the new things, new setting icons and stuff. This is Monterey, but patched. Well, not patched yet, but we have to patch it. Okay, look how long it's so laggy. Look, we do get the new iMac, um, oh, what are these called? Wallpapers right here, as you can see, look. Yay, because it's an iMac. Um, something I do want to do is turn off automatic login. Because I'm, 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 I hear that that crashes the computer. Just go to users and group. Login. Type in my password. Automatic login off. That's good. Because I don't want this to crash. And for the booth, okay, that good. Okay, <clears throat> open core. Now we have to build the open core. Just 
There you go, open core. And then number three, post install patches. Yeah, you know, it's patched. So by doing this, I don't think we'll have. Okay, it says no Delta update. I think that I don't know what that is, uh, but we won't have that. Um, which I really don't know what it is. So I don't know. I don't really know what that is. So I really don't mind if I don't have it. But hopefully we get Wi-Fi. That's something I really do need. Okay, wait, is it? It's not focusing properly. Okay, now it's focusing. Okay. Okay. Enter for cache rebuild. It added all of these, um, I don't know, it added all these things. But we're waiting for the rebuild. Like, no graphics acceleration, I'm pretty sure that's something we're not gonna have because it's not a metal supported Mac. And so we're probably not gonna have graphics acceleration. But if when I um, replace the graphics card or the GPU, it will hopefully have graphics acceleration on Monterey and we'll have Wi Fi as well because I need to change the Wi Fi card and Bluetooth. Since this thing doesn't have Bluetooth, I think I'm just gonna change out the Wi Fi card. Oh, Wi Fi Bluetooth card. I'm gonna put one of those in. And yeah. So we can get Wi-Fi working and Bluetooth as well. As you can see, it is running right now. For for now, I'm probably not gonna have graphics acceleration until I put the fix a GPU. I mean, replace the GPU and I'll fix it. Let's see. Look. It is Monterey, just the graphics don't, don't want to show up until I switch the thing yet. Yeah, AMD Radeon HD 6000, See, it's the 6000 series. So now I have to click enter here. But it's saying it's a 30.5 inch, which is kind of crazy. Even though it is not a 30, it's a 21.5 inch iMac from 2011. Now we can, okay, now we can click, okay, now we should be able to, so it says, please note that the ATI, Terrasco GPUs may experience color dropping on reboot, switch to using our, okay, that we can do, but, click enter, click, and then just click Q, and then we can now reboot. Um, yes, reboot. So then we can get our patches working. Rebooting right now. 
This is my first time tr trying it on this iMac, so hope it goes well. That's what I'm hoping. wallpaper on reboot still showing the wallpaper just waiting okay now it's reboot into Monterey HD and let's hope for the best here. Okay. Can you see it's showing the Apple logo? Oh my camera's not focusing at all that well. Yeah it's not focusing well. Okay now we're this has the original hard drive inside, so it might be a little bit slower. That's also something I need to upgrade, and the RAM. It's a 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it could be really fast. I have a monitor right there. Still booting. I think it's applying the patches now. Okay, I'm just waiting. It's still. Just waiting here. Okay, we're just waiting. I'll be back when we're done. Oh, actually, I think we might be done booting right now. Okay, I'm just waiting now. The app logo's gone. Okay, just waiting. Oh, yay, we're in Monterey. Look at that, it, no graphic acceleration. That is what I thought. As you can see, no graphics acceleration at all. That's what I thought, no graphic acceleration, so that's why we have to put the Metal supported GPU in here to enable those graphics acceleration to get accelerated graphics or to get metal support basically. And that's what I really want to do because it will be a lot faster with metal support. Okay, the monitor, the monitor, and the they're working now. Just waiting here. Yay! I'm just waiting. Okay. The, the, the menu bar isn't showing up. We got the dock, but no menu bar. Okay, 
I'm just gonna put this down right here. Maybe. Okay, now we've got the menu. Or, but still no Wi-Fi. Because the Wi-Fi card isn't good. I mean, this is like bad. That's something we can replace as well. But can we search something? No, Wi-Fi is fine because we're using Ethernet. Yeah, we're using Ethernet, so we don't need to worry about that. So, clear the downloads. Yeah, so we are using the Ethernet. You can see Ethernet and main display port. So if I just take out Ethernet, will the, will the Wi-Fi work? Probably not. Like, let's say you're not connected to the internet, and we can't turn on Wi-Fi. So basically, our, be our best bet to, to using Monterey is with Ethernet. Yeah. Ethernet's the only way to use Monterey on this 2011 iMac. See? Now we got Google. Probably gonna optimize for a long time. Well, it's going to take a long time to optimize because, you know, it's a new operating system. Oh, I have to enable right-clicking, so that's something we have to do as well. Because, so you can see we've got all the, all these new icon things. Oh my god, why is this? Right, okay. So, we go into mouse right here, and we have the trackpad up. Oh, we're going to secondary button right here. You can't set up. <laughs> so you connect a USB mouse or turn on Bluetooth. And we can click turn on Bluetooth. We do have a USB mouse. I mean, a Bluetooth mouse. And we can't turn on Bluetooth. We can, but nothing will happen. So you can see, go to. Network preferences. Mm. I do have a magic mouse they wanted to use with this, but no Bluetooth. So Ethernet's the only thing we have here. No Bluetooth or Wi Fi. And see, now we're getting. You can see. And now we can right click. Yeah, we can right click. No problem with that. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna put a graphics card inside with and a Wi-Fi card as well for mo to fix one right. And let's see. But yes, now it's showing the proper thing. Built-in display, 21.5 inch in Apple Cinema display. Um yeah, it's showing up the storage, memory, overview. Yep, yeah, but that is Monterey on an unsupported device. See you in the next. Please subscribe, like, share, and see you in the next one. Bye.